This is the of my Crystal Advent unboxing. I have seven Crystal Advent calendars to open. For your chance to win your favourite crystal of the day, be subscribed, hit the thumbs up or thumbs down button and let me know in the comments what your favourite crystal was. If you have any interest in any of these sellers, I'll link all the shops in the description box below. For an extra chance to win your crystal, head over to TikTok where I also have other pinned giveaways and you can also vote for your favourite crystal there for another chance to win. Enjoy! As always, we're straight in with Canny Crystals and this is day 16, as I told you at the start of the video. Little bag as usual. And this is a snowflake obsidian Tumblestone. I mean, it's fine. Not the most exciting. The thing is, if you know how much this calendar costs, and you know how much some of the other calendars cost, I've got other ones here that are the exact same price as this. And not, not the best. Treasure. This feels like quite a big crystal in this one. So in here we have a very, 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 very unusual crystal. It's it's a man or a woman. I'm actually not sure what it is. It's like a person with a cloak on. No idea what the crystal is either. I've got a feeling that if Demi was here, she would be loving this right now because it's just so unusual. Rianne Kirby, day 16, all cut open and ready to go. I just find it so interesting that some of these advent calendars were the same price or similar prices and they're so different. Obviously there's thousands, millions of different types of crystals out there but even the approach that they take to RAM and presentation and stuff like that, like my own advent calendars, my £50 one was cardboard with drawers in it and my £100 one was wood with drawers and it was really beautiful and I think that if I do this series again next year, if it's popular enough this year I might do this advent event again next year and I will include my own advent calendars that I sell as well. Inside this one, we've got a nice piece of soda light and a little box of shark teeth. Earth Sister Magic! <laughs> and a little bell. These are obviously good, like, because you can recycle these bags and stuff and use them for your own advent calendars. Or if you wanted, you could actually paint these. And then make them into like little Christmas baubles and hang one on the tree every day of Advent. Instead of opening something, you can like add it onto your tree. That's just what I would do. You never know, I might even do that with these ones. And we have some true selenite for cleansing, refreshing, divine light energy. This is beautiful. I'll probably be keeping this for myself. You can never have too much selenite. Obviously I love satin spa, but there's something about selenite that just, it's so beautiful. What do you think of that? Crystals by Megan. 16. This is... Lepidolite. Is that how you say that? Lepidolite? A nice little pebble. Seen in stone and this one feels quite heavy. I'm interested to see what this is. Ooh, it's also well it's not it's satin spa but this is a palm stone. One side of this has got like a clear bit in it. Can you see that? You'll see it on my TikTok but Obviously that's satin spa, but there's a full section up here, which is clear, like, just like selenite, like glass. So, 
I mean, you can't go wrong with that, do you know what I mean? It just looks like magic. And finally, of course, we have this 12 Days of Christmas calendar by Nova Moon. And we have this. What is this? Stunning. Let me turn this light down once again. I always forget. Stunning crystal, which looks similar to the green moonstone. However, it could be some sort of onyx. I've got no idea what this is. Thank God she writes it inside. Get a wee bit of education about me. So, this is kiwi calcite. I don't have any kiwi calcite. This is really beautiful. You can't see how stunning this is, right? Obviously on my TikTok you'll see it up close. But this has got greens, it's got like browns, yellows, black lines. There's bits that are quite opaque and then other bits that are transparent. There's little caves in it. It's got everything going for it, everything. This is gorgeous. So, my favourite crystal of the day was the Selenite by Air Sister Magic. The Satin Spa was nice as well, but there was something about the true Selenite. It's a little bit different from what I've got. So don't forget to let me know in the co don't forget don't forget to let me know in the comments what your favourite crystal of the day was, and I'll see you tomorrow.